you know, we're gonna cook today. Bruno, where do you wanna start? Do you wanna start with garlic or cilantro? Uh -huh, maybe you want some. Uh, I got two sub. Good day everybody, welcome back to the, our channel. Today we, we're going to cook some... I'm gonna cook us a special meal. Not special. And I'm gonna be last, to something. save the best for last. Just something simple and uh, delicious, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, so Roman brought some uh, scorpion pepper for us today, so... I can feel the spice. Yeah, it, 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 it will the burn, it will burn if, if you don't feed it right. So we have a pork today, special... Uh, marinated pork, ginger butter, yeah. uh, what is this, mayonnaise, a uh, prickly pear, prickly pear, I have no fruit, idea what is that, fruit. garlic, yeah. uh, limes, tomatoes, yeah. cilantro, and uh, red pepper. You got the desert uh, prickly pear, it's supposedly sweet, so you need something to balance out the sweetness, so you got this right here, and this, to balance out the sweet, and this is for uh, you know, this is versatile. Oh yeah, tell us about the uh, marinade. So um, sour cream, mayonnaise, garlic, cayenne, pe uh, cayenne pepper, uh, black pepper, salt, a little bit of ginger powder. Yeah. Looks like it's time to chop chop. Yeah, and uh, one more thing. Today we have our special guest, Mr. Dan. Hi. It's me, Mr. Dan. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Vic is cooking. Marinated pork. I actually like that. We'll see how good it's gonna come out because I'm glad to see mushrooms because I like mushrooms. And uh, I guess we're gonna have rice with it. May or I don't know for what, but we'll see. Yeah. So, Where do you wanna start? Right. Do you wanna start with garlic or cilantro? So we're gonna add this ginger to our rice. And garlic. Garlic. Put it there, cover it. Do some hot sauce, choppity chop, 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 chop. This guy is gonna make us a hot sauce today for Victor's dish. Put the tomatoes. Got the scorpion uh, pepper. I'm thinking desert, so desert fruit, you know. So, so you, you want to have sweet, sour, and everything. I'm giving you guys a little slice. I'm gonna let you guys try this out real quick. Yeah, Mr. Cameraman. That looks good, man. I hope so. You know, I don't want to have a bad morning tomorrow. Yeah, I feel you, man. A tiny little scorpion with the tail. Look at that. It's gonna sting. Mm. 
That is it. Lime. Yeah. That's good for it's the hot sauce. Yeah. It will balance Ooh. out the sweetness of the uh, two cactus foot. You know, this is actually the first Heat Seekers homemade hot sauce we're making. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna put some salt, just a little bit, because later on we'll add some mayonnaise. Boiling stuff happening right here for the hot sauce. Bruno wants some mayo. Mushroom slacks. We're gonna add some minus cheese. That's good actually. My mushrooms. Mm. Could you assist me, please, with the black pepper? This little cute lady. Her name is. Go on, she. She ran away. <laughs> She's so shy. She doesn't like you, man. Well, what I can do? Bruno wants some, huh? You don't need mayo or mushrooms. Ready. It's ready, guys. Let's go uh, and throw everything in the grill. Okay, we're gonna put them right here. Two. All right, time for meat right now. Let's throw it to the grill and uh, yeah, we're gonna get a little break. Okay. These are these are our mushroom legs. We're gonna throw them on the top. I tasted it early. It's a little bit sweet side. I like it tangy, the sauce to be tangy. So the second half of the lemon goes in. All right, guys. This lemon is dry. This lemon has been growing in the desert. Wow. It's sitting in the, sitting in the. Looks delicious, lime, Casey. By the way. Yeah, lime. <laughs> Look at that. Look it smells at that. good. I had a taste and um, surprisingly, it was actually still spicy, man. That one um, uh, scorpion pepper kept the spice in there really well. All right, guys, right now we're ready to throw this wonderful, delicious pork chops on the grill. And um, it's been marinated for a couple hours. Uh, I would rather to stay it longer, but we don't have a time. This is wonderful. Third one. Here we go. That's what I want, right? To be like, all that dark stuff over there, that's flavor stuff. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna... Hey. Digging a treasure down there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I think we, we can lit it up on the side. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, there we go. We're gonna blend the sauce. Make it into a real sauce. What about Already. what about vinegar? Maybe like you know vinegar you can throw in there, but we threw enough enough lime in there. Yeah. Uh, vinegar is good preservative too. It will keep everything fresh longer. But we eating this today. And it's not it's already enough sour, so 
think the flavor is there. Are you guaranteed it's gonna be the best sauce you have ever made? This is the first sauce I can say this is the first sauce I ever made. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So, you know, guys, you guys see a lot of the sauce where, you know, it's all one color. So I want to blend it enough to get all the flavors hit, uh, you know, go together. But you still want that dynamic of colors. You want to see some green, some red, and you want you want some chunks too. There's going to be some seeds in there, but, you know, it'll add definition. High definition cooking, y'all. Hail, hail, hail. I think that's good see what's going on here because I don't want I don't want my meat to be burnt and these guys are notorious for that ah, that's good I think the mushrooms are good but I'm not the chef today so hungry Jeez. Here we go. Wow. See? What do we have here? Ooh. Smells delicious. Okay. What we have here? This is the judging table. Judging? Well, I'm the judge. Chef shark. Oh. So is he, but I'm the bad one. We are, <laughs> but, we are the chef shark. But everything smells and looks good, so I'm, you know. Whoa. So we're gonna try everything separately first. You know. Yeah. Okay. Not that I just wanna taste the pork separately. You know, mushroom, rice, and the hot sauce. Then I'll mix the hot sauce with the pork. And I'll give you my honest opinion about your cooking today and your hot sauce. Mm -hmm. like mm -mm -mm. I'm glad to see the mushroom, man, because uh, I love mushroom. I grew up in Boston. I eat mushroom all the time, mushroom pizza. My wife hates mushrooms. Mm. Some people, yeah. Mm. But mushrooms are super food, man. You know, how can you hate mushrooms? I don't know. Right? Oh. Mm. The pork is really good. We mm. actually marinated pretty well, even though you only had a couple of hours, but... It's very dynamic. Mm. Yeah, you like it? Thank you, guys. I like. The I, pork is delicious. I very like. I like. So the mushroom stuffed with mayonnaise and cheese. There it comes. Mm. Man, that's cheating, man. <laughs> that's cheating. You cheated. Why? <laughs> Vince, you want some too? No mayonnaise? Sugar. It's like a cheat food. You put on anything and it's good. I know it's Tuna, good. Tuna, fish, <laughs> it, um, it, veggies. But that's a great idea though. It's really good. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's like really kind of like oily in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like kind of really oily taste. What he means is rich. Kind of like too much calorie. I have, I've had <laughs> mushrooms before, but I've never had mushrooms this way. It was and good. It's really rich, man, how the flavor is in there. Yeah, I think to uh, put it to another level, maybe if you add something in there to, to give it crunch inside the mushroom, you know, like some ground pork or beef, you know. Stuffed mushroom. Mm -hmm. Stuffed mushroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but this, I think this it was is good stuffed as it is. with mayonnaise. This is good as it's, it is. It's good. The next thing 
is rice and i'll be honest guys i i, I do not like uh, ginger i'm not a fan of ginger but we'll see so he put ginger and garlic in the rice while cooking it so do you have uh, is there also butter in there butter no where in the rice you didn't mm -hmm. put butter you right did mm -hmm. oh that's another cheat right there <laughs> butter on anything's pretty good <laughs> a strong flavor of ginger and I, I love it, man. It keeps the rice a little bit fresher. What's going on there? Because ginger... Um, what happened? Keeps the bacteria away. <laughs> Try sauce, Casey sauce. I oh, this. Casey sauce. Oh, the, the seeds. <laughs> Either way, don't chew it too hard. Okay. So now I'm going to try this uh, the hot follow. sauce that Casey made. With the with a Trinidad scorpion pepper. I know there's seeds in there. There's seeds. But you don't have to spit it out, you just swallow it. Right. It, goes, it goes through your intestine. It's from that fruit. Oh just man. Just don't bite. That pepper is, it's got a kick. Just a one Trinidad pepper, damn. Mm. That's got, it's got some kick. Oh. What spice level would you put on the sauce? I mean, maybe about, I didn't take too much, but maybe like, three you know three or four yeah it's it, it's because it's like it's really you can definitely yeah. taste that spice right away but since you have so many other ingredients in there it kind of fades yeah. away yeah the uh, spice level is mild three something like that but i think the scorp the scary thing about the pepper uh, scorpion pepper is like uh, when it comes out <laughs> it might it comes in as a three but it comes out as a seven or eight who knows <laughs> I love your sauce, Casey, but <clears throat> seeds the are seeds, making yeah. me not, you know, I cannot like, because I, I, I would love to chew. I know, those seeds are pretty hard. Not swallow them. What are you talking about, man? Nobody chews sauce. Sauce, just eat it and swallow it. Ideally, you probably want to take out the seeds, filter out the seeds. But I'm lazy. I'm a man. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for dishes. It's not super spicy. Mm. Pretty good. The seeds, of course, bother me. But the sauce by itself mm. good i love the flavor of the sauce so this is my honest review for the vix cooking the pork chop is probably one of the best i ever tried it's really juicy the marinade is amazing the mushrooms are delicious the rice is good i mean i'm not a fan of ginger but you know i'm not gonna be judging by but ginger flavor you know because a lot of people like it me, me personally i don't but it's it's good. It's the sauce, the flavor is good. It's really good. But those seeds, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. The seeds, not for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried first time and I was like, oh shit, is this stone or what? <laughs> yeah, no. Honestly, this is really good. I'm gonna give you like an eight plus. Eight plus? Yes. Oh. Eight plus. Really love the pork chop. With wow. mushrooms on top, actually, it's, dude, it's so good. There's a lot of mayo in there, but once the, you cook it with mayo, it just becomes like a marinade, you know? Mm. It's delicious. All together, eight plus. Good job, man. Really delicious. My pleasure, guys. Your sauce, flavor, a nine. Mm. For oh. the flavor. Mm. But I wish there were no seeds, though. Yeah. No seeds are, I, but I, I know you can't take those out, but that fruit that you use, Maybe next time we'll use... You strain it, strain yeah. it out. Yeah, it's just the seeds, but the flavor mm. is delicious. Mm. Uh, you know, man, he stepped up the flavor on the rice, you know? That fly, the white rice was just boring. It's got flavor and taste with the garlic and the butter. Rice is rich, man. And uh, the pork, man. Marinated with the mayonnaise. Rich, again. Mushroom with mayonnaise and cheese. Again, rich. So, you know, it's something that I think is really popular out there. You can put this in Olive Garden, I'd order it. I'm not easy to please, but I, I could see this easily 10. Oh. Very rich, very dynamic. See this guy? Pork is boring, right? You put all this stuff. Mm -mm -mm. No favoritism in here. So, so the but, best. So he never leaves the room for, you know, 
improvement. I'm just ten, comparing the this to a lot of the dish that they have out there, you know, in the restaurants. You know, my rating was overall dish. Yeah. If I would rate just the pork alone, mm. a ten. Yeah. There's no better pork than chopped than yeah. this. Okay, let's let's uh, let's do the other way. Roma, you're the owner of the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you have this dish as your menu. Let's okay. call it like a, a wonderful mushrooms, you know? Eat it. Okay. Or pig on the mushrooms, something like that. How much would you uh, price it? How much would it cost? Like, your like, like this. Oh, yeah, like this. I'll probably price it at like, like $25. I was gonna say something around the $20 range. I'll price it at 25 just for the reason of, you know, because you have mushroom on top of the pork, on the side, you know, mushrooms, plus, you know, homemade sauce on the side. Easily 20. Dude, come on. Did you see the inflation lately with these prices? Mm -hmm. Easy 25. How many restaurants do you go out there that has flavored rice? The only ones I know is <laughs> the Thai or the Filipino place where they have coconut flavored rice, you know? But, yeah. Well, that's, you know, you did a really good job. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So, you know, you next. You said, say, best for last, right? I mean, mm -hmm. the best right here. Thank you for staying with us again. Mm -hmm. See you next time. This guy's cooking. My turn next time, guys. You Stay tuned. For once, yeah. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be really good. I mean, I, so. I know it. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time.